Hey guys, it's Armel Yer here, and today I'm doing a review for you of an awesome iPad application called iStudies Pro. Now, I'm really jealous because I'm no longer in college, but if I was still in school, this app would be the number one thing on my iPad. Uh, it has an amazing feature set for students to be able to track uh, assignments, courses, instructors, um, calendar, the whole nine yards. It's, it's really incredible, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Uh, if you're still in school, this is going to be the premier app for you on your iPad. Uh, take a look at the website. I have it up right here. Um, you can go to uh, iStudies Pro, look them up in Google, and when you get to the site, this is what you see. Currently, they have the application for the iPhone and the iPad. Uh, which do offer cloud sync so um, your devices will sync across and keep you up to date with all of the um, assignments, homework, schedules, you name it. It's all going to be uh, integrated with the Mac but it, it's currently syncing across the iPad and the iPhone so um, it's good for students, teachers, parents, you name it. Um, you can see that it, it uh, lets you manage your schedule, your homework, your grades, you can track your events in real time, input your instructors, the holidays. Uh, it comes for 25 different languages and uh, you can color code everything from the calendar to your uh, courses. So it's just amazing. It's amazing for the iPad and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys now. So we'll go ahead and launch the application and you can see that it brings you up to the calendar view and from here you can do a whole bunch of stuff um, right now uh, I have it set to the 14th uh, which is Valentine's Day and you can see that it's integrating my iCal calendar events uh, straight from iCal and uh, your Max calendar so whatever you put in there it'll also pop up in here so you can see what you got going on uh, you can easily switch to today's date just by hitting the today button up in the top left corner it'll flip your calendar to today and um, whatever you have on that day will show up so as you can see you have your calendar on the right where you can switch uh, to month view and uh, you know switch back and forth and then you can you can select a day and go directly to that day so uh, that's the calendar and then if, when you hit the home button here in the top right uh, it takes you to the um, thing where you manage everything so right now it's set up for a semester and I put in some sample um, stuff it comes with some sample information so you can kind of see how it works so there's seven courses this semester you chose your overall GPA and, and when you hit the semester button it brings up um, what the dates are for the semester and uh, in this particular case it's July through October you can see that at the very top and then it lists all the courses that you have going on uh, in this case they're all color-coded um, you know from calculus to biology anatomy English genetics film studies and Spanish I mean you can go to each course by just tapping the course it'll show you uh, who the lecturer is the day of the week that you have it and the time that you have it uh, in any other associated sessions that you have, like a study group. Um, you can also see when your exams are. Uh, at the very bottom, uh, you can flip between the schedule to uh, any assignments, current assignments that you have due, or any that you've completed in the past. And of course, you can see your grades and set the different configurations for the grades um, all from the bottom navigation there. And you can also choose the color by hitting the color button and selecting whatever color you'd like this course to be. So, uh, you know, it was purple, so we'll put it back to that. So that's how you flip through your different courses. Now, when you go back to the planner, you also have the holidays button where you can, you know, see what holidays you have coming up. There isn't any in here, but it's really easy to add them. You just tap the, the plus sign, you know, put in the name. We have uh, President's Day coming up. So it's that easy. You just put in the name and uh, go over here select a date that would be Monday the 21st and save and shift schedule will push your classes uh, around the holiday so you know you can turn that on and classes will be moved accordingly so that's pretty awesome and uh, now when you go, you know you can see what holidays you have coming up which is pretty darn cool anyway so that's the planner and uh, what we can do is we can switch the assignments by hitting the um, little uh, paperclip icon next to the home button up there 
and it shows all of the assignments that have current due dates. Uh, again, it shows if they're overdue. So in this example, I'm late on my homework, but uh, you can see I've got a problem set due for calculus. Uh, I got to read some for genetics. I have a lab for biology, uh, English, and anatomy. So here's all my assignments, and I can uh, sort through them by course. So it'll show me what courses I have homework for or by priority so you can also set what the priority is on each assignment and look at it that way and it also gives you the dates along the side so um, if you were to click on an assignment you could see the setup and this is where you would edit the different fields of you know what it is that you need to be doing uh, and also uh, you know what it is if it's homework an exam paper or quiz you can give different weights uh, to the particular assignment and um, you can set the priority and you can also set an alarm to remind yourself when to notify you of this obviously for the procrastinators uh, which there are plenty of those in college including myself we would set these alarms in advance uh, so you know again I'm extremely jealous that I did not have this in, in college because uh, organization would would be just beyond awesome. Um, again, you can look at completed assignments as well and see what letter grades you got for everything, uh, color coded by the course. So this is really incredible. And uh, I'll also show you one last thing, and that's the the instructor setup. So for each course, you can see the associated professor or instructor. Uh, it's really easy. You just click on that person, and uh, you can even add photos. There's no photos here because these are fictional people, but uh, it's easy to hit edit and then add a photo right there and it'll ask you to select a photo. Now when the iPad 2 comes out it's going to be even cooler because you can have this thing in class, ask your prof if they're okay with you taking their picture and bam you can even add you know a picture in so it's, it's quick and easy to see what you got going on. But these are all the fields that you can add for the instructors and you can if you have them in your contact books you can add them uh, and copy them from contacts right there on the bottom or easily delete them. So. Uh, you can see the information for the instructor, what classes they're giving, and the dates and the times. So again, guys, this is incredibly awesome. Uh, it's called iStudies Pro. Uh, here is the website again. You guys head on over there. If you're a student, uh, if you're a parent, if you're a teacher, this is the thing for you. I mean, if you got young children that are going to school and you want to help them stay on top of their homework, uh, this is the way to go, guys. Check out iStudies Pro. Uh, again, this is R. Malieri. Thank you for watching Tech 2.0, where I bring you all the latest in technology, applications, social media, and uh, everything else that's awesome. So if you like this, please show your support by uh, leaving a comment or uh, rating the video. And uh, please subscribe if you've never been here before, because I keep you up to date on the latest and coolest things. Thanks again for watching. This is R. Malieri, and I'll see you on the next review.